Mediumship. They do see you in the shower. That's the title of this video. Uh, the reason it came up, it, well, some specific reasons, but this question comes up in public demonstrations, live public demonstrations a lot. Uh, people want to know if they can see everything, if they know what's going on, can they and do they like watch us in the shower or when we're having sex? And I think sometimes they do. Uh, so, and I know I'm going to get flack for that, but let me explain. Relax. Uh, I believe, first of all, they would refer to it as seeing and hearing, but they don't have eyes and ears like we do, right? I, I think they would, but I believe they're visually aware or auditorily aware. I'm not sure how that works, but I know that I have since childhood sung to my loved ones in spirit, and I've gotten readings from mediums where they reference that I sing to them, that they hear me, that they can hear that. And so um, they are visually aware, they're auditorily aware of what's going on in this world. So um, specifically, the reason this video came up is because I had a client, I connected with her sister. Um, the sister was referenced, she was doing this, you know, referencing this relationship that was over and, and it was a good for you thing for the sister that was sitting in front of me, like good, good riddance, good to be rid of him. And, uh, and she described a couple things about that person who's still here in that relationship. And the sister said, yeah, that was someone I was dating right after my sister died. And then I was seeing, I have in my kitchen, a mostly empty bottle of honey. So when I use it, I put it in the microwave for a few seconds and that makes it drip really easily as opposed to waiting for it to come out of the bottle. And I said, uh, and so I said, I'm honey. I'm seeing uh, that and also various jars of honey that I have from friends. I, I like honey. She said, I understand the honey reference. And we moved on. And then at the end of the reading, she was really black. She was really nice. She said, I have to tell you that guy that you got that my sister was like, good for me for dumping. He used to lick honey off of me. That's something he liked to do. And so my sister referenced that, which means she was watching that or she saw that. Like, does that happen? I said, I said, yeah, uh, I, I think they can watch. I think they do watch our lives, whatever's going on in our lives. I'm absolutely sure it is not in any way salacious, but it's something that happens. So uh, a good explanation, explanation of mediumship that I've heard people give is the medium, like me, raises their vibration. The person in spirit lowers their vibration. And someone like me, a medium, is in between that person and the client translating what we're getting. And I know from my personal experience that the happier I am and the more relaxed I am, the easier it is for me to connect. And, and so, like, when are you happiest and most relaxed? Like, if you're soaking in a hot tub or if you're in an intimate moment with someone, you're pretty happy, you're pretty relaxed generally. So I think it does make it easier to connect with them. Um, I uh, was an exchange student in Japan. I fell in love with bathing there. And so several times a week, I take a very long, hot bath. And I've said in other videos, when I see things, it's in my mind's eye. Uh, it's rare. And sometimes when I hear things, it's mostly in my mind's ear, but I will actually hear things shouted at a distance sometimes. So uh, three different times in the last year, year and a half, I've been relaxing in a very hot, warm tub, and I'm just so comfortable and relaxed and slightly dozing off. And suddenly I can smell with my nose, actually smell my mother's hairspray and perfume. And so I've, uh, and so I've said, I, you know, I'm in the tub, go away. Uh, playfully, I've said that. And um, the feeling I get back is this humorous, there's a humorous vibe and there's, uh, my mother called my brothers and I, her babies, she'd say my babies this or my babies that. And I get that, you know, grinning sort of my babies thing. It's, it's completely non-sexual and very loving. Um, I have to say, I don't believe that they think, I don't think of this as an invasion of privacy and I don't think they think of it as an invasion of privacy because I believe and I've experienced that they are with us from the moment of birth. And it's a different kind of relationship once they're passed. We have a different kind of relationship with them and with all people in spirit. And so it's kind of like if a one-year-old were able to say, close your eyes while you're changing my diaper. Like, it's kind of like that. Like, you'd change it anyway, right? It's they have a broader perspective. They have a greater perception of things. And so... Um, in a completely non-salacious, non-sexual way, I do believe they can see everything. And I believe sometimes they do see you, everything, uh, even intimate moments. And it is, but it's not, but their experience of that wouldn't be what our experience would be peeping through a hole into someone's room. It's just not like that. But I do think they're constantly with us or almost constantly with us. And uh, yeah, they can watch. <laughs> so um, that's that. Uh, uh, Next week's video is uh, number 52. So it's one year of these. 
And uh, I'm, I have to ask the question, what is impossible and what isn't? Um, because I used to think mediumship was impossible and now I am a medium. So that's next week's video. Thank you for tuning in. Sorry if this one upset you or stressed you out. Um, leave your questions and comments below and see you next week.